Hey, check this out. I'm going to try to uh, add a label to the surface. Now, this was some uh, a surface that we had, or I had created for uh, machine control, and what they wanted was that the pad needed to be nine tenths lower than the finished floor, and. Just as a double check, I wanted to add a label to make sure that my surface was uh, being produced properly. So what I did is I, I went ahead and I said, okay, well, why don't I just insert a label? So if I go over to the Annotate tab and I go to Add Label, I can go ahead and, and scroll down and pick uh, Surface and then pick uh, Spot Elevation and just Elevation Only, no big deal, Add to the Surface and it asked me down in the command line to uh, select a surface so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select that surface and then it asked for a point so I'm gonna push a point in there well it's giving me the elevation of the surface now that's nine tenths lower than that but to uh, make it a little bit easier or a little bit uh, um, I guess I'm lazy I wanted I want the computer to do this for me so I, I went over to the to the, uh, the settings tab and underneath surfaces and label styles, um, spot elevation, um, I went ahead and created my own expression. Maybe you, you wonder what this expression is for. So what I did is I said new, and I simply called it uh, elevation um, plus uh, nine tenths. So my expression is going to be the spot elevation, or surface elevation plus 0.9. Now I say okay. I could have given it a description, but I didn't. And now what happens is is that you can go into your elevations to see. I'm using the elevation only uh, style. I'm going to go ahead and edit that. I'm going ahead and, and edit my uh, my text information here, and I'm just going to uh, add my uh, finished floor equals and go and find and now I've added that uh, expression comes up in my in my properties for that uh, I had already created a couple before but uh, to that and I can change my precision uh, to whatever I'd like and you force it over by pushing the arrow and then say okay so now what happens is it generates a new line of text that has the finished floor on there. So now I don't have to grab my calculator and I have to calculate that it, that, uh, it truly is nine tenths lower than the finished floor. It's just a double check. The other cool thing about this is, is that you can grip it. Don't do a move or a copy or anything like that, but grip it and pick that grip and move it around and as you move it, that elevation changes. So you can go around, go around and, and just check to see what, what's going on as far as your surface is concerned and the elevations um, and basically just run it through each one of these building pads and make sure that uh, the finished floor, without labeling everything, you can just go through and, and uh, make sure that the finished floors are, uh, are, are indeed correct. So uh, check me out, uh, check out my other videos and uh, subscribe. Thanks.